they came in. Hello, my lovelies. So, they came in. This is the Hermes lip balm. Some guy was selling them at, on clearance for $30. So I was going to buy three of them for $120 on Mercari. Because normally one is $75. I wasn't paying $75 for a lip balm. But I wanted to try them to find out why are they $75 and what did Hermes do that was so phenomenal. So if you thought about it, I would be paying $40 each plus tax and shipping, probably like $47. It's still cheaper than $75. But I got these for $30 each. $30 on eBay and all with free shipping. And all I had to do was pay the tax. So it ended up being $32 or $33 each. I was like, what? And I got two of them because there were, there's three bombs. One is um, the Rose Abricot, which I don't like. So I didn't get that because it's too fair. I think it's for fair skin. Then the Rose Deete and the Rose Tan. I feel like the Rose Tan is going to look the best on my skin. Number 30 and 49. And, oh, there goes my skirt up over my head. Hold on. <laughs> Right? And then you have the Hermes box. Oh, so it looks like this. This is what the box looks like. And then you saw the top. So, this is the box. Something feels off about this. And you have the, that's fine. This part feels really thin. And then this is what the bomb looks like in the case. And this is, I'm guessing, the Rose de Ete. No smell. Usually they have a perfume smell. It's an overpriced chapstick. I might take this out and give it to my mom, but I'm going to keep the case. I have another one that's black. Um, I think I have a couple of cases that were like black, gold, and white. Or gold and white. That's not my favorite. And I don't like the black, gold, and white either. I like the gold and white. I don't like the black, gold, and white. So I think I might switch the case of this one with another one. I don't care for it. I really don't. <sighs> That's sad. It tastes, it's just like a chapstick. There is nothing. Please don't waste your money, you guys. My favorite balm right now is Juvia's place I think it's called J U V I A S place and it's the bomb in the stick form because they have a bomb that's a squeeze tube but it which is more like a petroleum jelly base but this the stick is also petroleum jelly base I just like it better and if you guys know I always love petroleum jelly based lip products because I feel like like they actually heal your lips and they actually moisturize them. Like I've never had dry chapped lips. Maybe now that I'm getting older, one or two days the whole winter because I take care of myself. You know, I'm always using the petroleum jelly. Um, I use Blistex, I use Carmax, and then I use uh, actual petroleum jelly on my lips. And that's really, really good so that they never get like dry and hard or whatever. I know a lot of people like chapsticks. They really believe that it, I don't think it, I think it makes your lips more chapped. They really believe that it coats their lips and keeps the moisture in. I'm like, maybe. I don't know. I've never had small small lips, so I don't know what it's like for that. But I know people with very large lips that get all chapped and crusty. Um, petroleum jelly works for that, for sure. Like, that's the best way to heal your lips. They use Blistex and Carmax, but honestly, it's petroleum jelly that's really good for you. Um, what else? That's my favorite one. And then there's the sugar ones. I don't love them either because I also feel like they're beeswax based. Chapstick is more of a beeswax based product, which is why I don't like it. 
it seals in the moisture, but it doesn't let your lips breathe, which is why I think it causes more damage than it does good. Petroleum jelly, I don't know how, but it kind of like just absorbs into the lips and then disappears, but it does what it's supposed to do by keeping your lips soft and moisturized and hydrated. Now, I wouldn't put petroleum jelly on my lips all day, every day, maybe one to three times a day in the freezing cold winter, but I don't need it that often. Um, I guess maybe if you're one of these people that are always putting on these matte lipsticks and your lips are super dry. A lot of people like the Laneige, Laneige, whatever. Um, I have to do a video on that. The lip product, it's just petroleum jelly. It's flavored petroleum jelly. I used to make that when I had my own skincare product. I, it was called Myers Body Care. And I used to just take petroleum jelly and melt it. And then I would mix in a little bit of oil to soften it. Um, and then I would put in the flavoring. And then, you know, like when it was starting to dry up and, you know, like to get solid and then mix it all in and then put it in these tubes because I bought the tubes, um, you know, like the chapstick tubes. And then, I, you know, it was part of a kit that I used to sell back in the day when I was trying to start my own skincare line. Um, but they didn't have the same packaging they had. Now that was like 1990 something like it was really, it was a long time. Whether it was like 98 or 2001 or 2006, something like that. It was a long, no, it was in 2006, maybe 2003 or something. It was a long time ago. 2004 to 2006, I think. And, um, cause it was when I moved out of my mom's house into like, whatever. And I had the lip balm. I, I made my own whipped body butters, but the problem was that when I would ship it to hot states, it would turn into oil. So we didn't have the packaging materials it needed to keep it solidified. Uh, now it's more accessible, but back then it wasn't. Uh, mind you, eBay had just started in 1998, 1999. So in 2004 to 2006, it's not like all these things were super accessible to the public. Kind of like had to have like a, a license and this and that to get all these different things. And I was like, what? Um, so I was just trying to see like, do I have like a product line? I also sold, um, the benzonite clay for face masks. I still, I still have all the stuff here. I still have all the packaging and I still right there in my kitchen. <laughs> um, and then I made like a softer version of the bomb that was actually like a lotion that it was more like a, a cream, like a creamy lotion. And I had that. And then, so it was the, oh, and then I made a balm where it was like the petroleum jelly mixed with the beeswax mixed with some other stuff. Um, and then I made like an actual balm that was in a tube that you twisted and it came out and then you could rub it anywhere. So it was the balm, the body butter, the, the lotion, I called it, uh, the lip balm and then the room spray. And, um, and I still use the room spray. It's basically poopery same exact thing um, only with better scents and it still covers up the scent of the poo like poopery so everyone's telling me that I should go back and start my line again but I just I'm not in the mood to like start off you know it's just there's so many restrictions right now FDA regulations this that permits plan blah, blah, like I can't right now but if the opportunity ever presents itself and somebody's willing to sponsor me and they have the facilities and I have a formulation and then we can patent some things, I would consider it. I would. Um, but this lip balm, it's not worth the money. The rose tan, I know you, you guys are probably like, what about the rose tan? Let me just show you what it looks like. There's something off about these boxes. Oh no, this one's fine. This one is, is definitely better. The other one was like softer and flimsier. It just didn't feel right. This is fine. This is great. This is what the rose tan looks like. I feel like this is the one I'm going to keep. And I'll give the other one to my mom. But I'll change the case because I want the case. I don't even want this. I might just put these in another case and give them away. I don't want them. I just want the cases. I was going to pay $30 anyway. That's why I bought them for the case. Cause I wanted the rose case. But then I was like, if I can get the lip balm too, it's really nothing fancy. You guys, I'm actually really disappointed to be quite frank. Does it moisturize? Yeah. 
it kind of feels like their lipstick formulation. I'm not saying it's bad. It's a good formulation. I just wouldn't pay $75 for it. I would pay $30 for it the way that I paid for it. And that's to try it. In reality, I would pay $20, $25 if you care about wearing an Hermes lip balm. But not $75. Not for this product. When there's so many other products out there that are better on you. I mean, I can just tell you, I can feel it drying my lips out right now. This is not a good formulation. For me, my opinion. This is my opinion. This is my channel. This is not rooted in fact or anything like that. It's alleged. This is how I feel about this particular product. I would literally only pay for the case. That's why I would pay twenty to twenty-five dollars because then I get the case. Don't really care for the lip balm. If it's the only lip balm that you're wearing, if you're a minimalist and you're like, this is the only one, then yeah, go for it. But I'd rather just, I'm switching these cases out and I'm keeping. I really don't like it. <laughs> I don't, and I, and I'm not gonna give my mom. I'll give her the box. I'm not giving her that wrap that goes around the lipstick because I always put my lipstick in my bag um, because I want it. <laughs> like the sleeve that it comes in, I'm only just going to give her the lip balm and the box. She can put the box in her bag if she wants it. And then, you know, like the case, but I'm not giving her the actual dust bag that goes with it, if that makes any sense. I like the dust bag to put in my pocketbook. Mine's already destroyed. And I've only had my lipstick in my bag in a makeup bag with other lipsticks. Like, I, like it's really protected. Do I have it with me? And I still destroyed it. So I'm keeping that. But other than that, that's what I have for you guys. That's my per my personal opinion. I did buy another lip balm product, which I'm really excited to get. It's called Rose Mexic. M-E-X-I-Q-U-E. -E. I'm really excited to try that color. Uh, that comes in a black, gold, and white case not interested in it so I'm probably gonna put this lip balm in that case and give it to my mom and then I'll take the rose Mexique put it in this one and then I know the pink one is for the rose Mexique the black gold and white is for the rose oh I love that Indian that's my favorite one rose Indian with an EN at the end my favorite Hermes color I also have the Rouge H which is also in a black gold and white one uh, oh I think it's in a white actually I think the Hermes Rouge H, which is like a maroon burgundy, that's in the black, gold, and white. The Rose Indian is in the white and gold. So it's white, white, and then gold in the middle. Like this, but instead of it being pink, it's white. And then this one is going to be in the pink one. That way I can tell them apart. Does that make sense? That's why I'm doing it, because I don't want to be like, which one is this one? And then open it and take it apart and all that. Because once you refill it, whatever it says on the bottom, it doesn't matter because you changed... You change the insert and refills for Hermes are $45. So you pay 75 for the actual lipstick with the bullet case. And then if you want to keep that case and buy the refill, you pay $45, which is a significant savings. But if you can get the case and the lipstick for $45 or less on eBay or Mercari, I say go for it. These I got on eBay and it was literally someone I'm like looking at it. I'm like, is this real? It is. I really don't like it. The reason I was questioning whether it was real or not is do you see this? That doesn't look centered to me. That does not look centered to me. But everything else is legit about it. And the case looked a little weird. Do I have the other one? Let me just look at it real quick. Oh my god. Ooh. Because <laughs> I'm getting older. No, it's fine. It's fine. This is the one that I got when I got the cases. It was a woman who was just selling the cases. And this is the white and gold one. And then I bought them from her for $30. I really like it. So I have one more of these. I think I gave my mom the... Yeah, I changed it. <laughs> 
So I bought three of these and I, and I bought my mom, I bought a lipstick, the 46 cask, which I didn't like. Um, and I gave that to my mom. Did I put it in this case? I don't remember. Anyways, I'm going to go now because I feel like I'm senile. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later. I'm definitely going to switch the case and give it to my mom. I'm really not a big fan of it. I don't really like it. I would like to just give it away, but I, you know, it's a lot of money for me to just give away. Um, I might keep one in my, I don't want it. When I really don't like something, I don't like it. I have, see this? I have two of these full of makeup. Two. I don't, I don't need something I don't love. Ugh, I really don't like the formulation, you guys. I'm so sorry. All right, if you like my vibe, please subscribe. I know this is a weird video. If you like my style, come back for a while, and we will catch up later. My beauties, my angels, my cutie patsooties with little booties. All right, bye. Okay, so I, I realize why I don't like this. My body knows things before my mind does. I can't explain it. I'm very intuitive, I'm not psychic. I just have a gift, right? And I just knew that there was something off and I didn't like it, remember? And when I look at the ingredients, if you look at the bottom, like, look, why does a lip balm have all these ingredients? It doesn't need all that. And the rose tan, which is this one, has more carcinogenic ingredients, which would be for a darker lip, which would be for somebody of my complexion versus the other ones that are for lighter skin. Um, it has like blue in it and that's probably where you get the tan. But you know, like the red and the blue dyes that they put in these products are, if you look them up, they've been, it's alleged, do not quote me on it. Um, I'm just repeating what I've seen and read, but I want you to do your own research. But do you see those colors on the bottom? It's a lip balm and they're practically clear. You don't need to put these products in there. Now it does have one of them has a raspberry seed oil. I think they both do. Uh, it has caruba wax. I used to make my own lip balms, you guys, and you really didn't need that many. I mean, if you made it from, from beeswax, all you need is beeswax and whatever carrier oil. And then you just mix it to the consistency that you want. Wait for it to dry a little bit and see, do you want it to be that hard or that soft? Do you know what I mean? Like, you can make your own lip balm at home. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's not, it's really not worth it. Um... I don't know what dye, the first ingredient is diphenylsiloxy, phenyl, and then trimethicone, mica, neo, that you don't need all these ingredients. Dicalcium phosphate, dimethicone phenyl, vinyl, dimethicone, cry. you don't need all of these things. Raspberries, I said that. Uh, carnauba wax, which is I think what they put on cars, right? Raspberry seed oil, tosopheryl, succinate, amino, parfum, but there's no fragrance in it. Nothing. There's nothing. And usually the, the lip balms and the lipsticks, the lipsticks are amazing. And they smell so good, almost like perfume. I didn't smell anything on these, but there's perfume fragrance, but I don't smell it. And then you have all these colors. You have iron oxides. Look that up. Um, red 7 Lake, red 28, red 27. Yellow 6 Lake. And then on the other one, there is, where's the blue? It has BHT, BHT, look that up. I don't know why they keep putting BHT in these products, you guys. All of the, the luxury products, the Louis Vuitton perfumes, all of these perfumes, they all have BHT in them. Um, Alba Bark Extract. Blue One Lake. That's the blue. That's only in the rose tan. So, full disclosure, just so you guys know, don't take my word for it. Look it up. And uh, yeah, that's what I have for you guys. Until next time. Bye.